Hello everyone, I hope that you are all doing well. This is me, Sayyad Shujatullah. Welcome to T1 Academy. Let us see today's current affair. Okay. So as you know that a very important pop singer, you can say, a Bollywood singer, you can say, that is Bappi Lahari. Okay. He has rested in peace. Okay. He died at the age of 69 years in Mumbai. Okay. And uh, he is very famous for his gold ornamentation, decoration of his body with the gold ornamentation. And uh, he is such a great singer. Okay. And uh, because of that, lot of, lot of dignitaries have uh, given their condolences for him. So, Sajjan Tendulkar, Narendra Modi ji, Mamta Banerjee, okay, Smriti Irani. You can see from different fields, okay, and from different states, he occupies lot of respect and position what in cinema industry. So, please remember this Bappi Lahari. Okay. The next important current affairs that we are having is Life Insurance Corporation IPO. What is IPO? Initial Public Offering. Okay. It means what? Suppose you are having a company. Suppose you are having a company and government allowed you I and mean basically SEBI allowed you uh, to issue shares. To issue shares. Okay. So before that, before that you have never issued any shares never issued any shares but your company is now become very big it occupies lot of credibility in the market it occupies lot of uh, market reach okay and this company becomes very important to the government also because if it expands more and more because of its uh, good uh, way of doing business okay because of it uh, making the market very competitive and because of its having the capacity to generate employment also would the government will generally allow this bigger these companies the the companies which are emerging companies okay to issue what shares to issue what shares then you have to qualify first of all the company suppose today we have got t1 t1 is there here okay today we established we cannot have uh, shares tomorrow we cannot issue tomorrow so it has to like uh, you should get permission from the SEBI, Security Exchange Board of India, which is the organization generally gives license uh, to issue shares. Okay. So, you have to qualify certain criteria, then only you, a company will be allowed to issue shares. Remember this point. If this is not regulated, then I can put a company tomorrow and I can start uh, issuing shares and asking, uh, raising money from you people and I will take all the money and run away, right? So, that's why all the companies will not be given the choice of issuing shares. Only those companies which are having a credible net worth is there, credible presence is there in the Indian market and it is a very common brand in the public and occupies trust and confidence of the public, then only uh, the, uh, this particular license will be given to issue shares. So, here we are talking about LIC, Life Insurance Corporation. It is one of the government-owned company. Okay, all, obviously, 100% is not government money, but it is one of the uh, major stakes, major ownership of this LIC is with government. Now, government is, uh, for the very first time, for the very first time, is it is uh, going to uh, sell shares of LIC. For the very first time. That's why initial, first time, public, giving to the public, offering shares to the public. That is called as initial public offering. Initial public offering. Okay. To participate, uh, to participate, if you want to buy the LIC IPOs, LIC shares, if you want to buy, policy holders, means when you buy, you will get that uh, document. No, the policy holders meet the following criteria. Okay. First of all, resident individual policy holders of corporation having one or more policies of the corporation okay as on january february uh, as on february 13 2022 those who are having lic policies those who are having one or more lic policies they are eligible they are eligible policy holders of lic's are eligible policy holders pan details should be updated with the corporation okay this two if you are if you are satisfying this two uh, what criteria then you can take the shares of what LIC okay and always remember whenever you want to buy or sell uh, any of the shares okay it means uh, you have to open a DMART account DMART account is nothing but D D means no MAT means materialized okay so no material DMART means no material means whenever the shares you buy you will get the shares on digital way only you will never get the shares in the form of paper Okay, there won't be any acknowledgement of paper will be there. Everything will be what? D, uh, DMART means it in the uh, dematerialized form or immaterialized form or it will be there in the digital form, right? 
Fine. So this IPO comes under the concept of disinvestment. This investment is nothing but, uh, as I have told you many times also in my previous lectures, when you are doing investment, it means you are putting money. When you are doing this investment, it means you are taking money. When you are taking money from some company, some asset, it means what you are losing ownership or not? Yes, you are losing ownership. And I have also told you that this investment, this investment is generally done in order to raise uh, funds. In order to raise funds, okay, because you are having shortage. Because you are having shortage. That's why if you are having your home, if you are having your home but you want some extra money, but you want some extra money, what you will do, you will sell this part. 50 uh, yards or say 100 yards, you will sell this part. Because you are shortage of money, you want to build the home, but you are having no, uh, no money for that. That's why you do, you lose the ownership here and raise money to build this home, to build your home. So this investment is nothing but taking money out from your asset or taking your ownership back. Okay. What is an IPO? IPO is a sale of shares to the public for the very first time. Okay. Before a company, suppose I own T1. T1 Academy is mine. Okay. So it means it is privately hold. It is private. I am a private person. It is private ownership. But when, once I start uh, issuing shares, it will also belongs to you also, right? So private company, private limited will become what? Public limited company. So whenever the uh, issue of shares happens a private entity will become a public entity now okay and shareholders who are limited before maybe five six uh, uh, people people are there for the establishment of t1 once it becomes uh, a public once the issues uh, shares are issued then many people will become the owner of this particular t1 like that you have to understand transformation from a limited shareholder to many shareholders will be there and whatever the shares are there they're all they're all you will buy, you can sell at stock exchanges. Stock exchange is nothing but share exchanges only. Okay, because shares are not singular, shares are many. That's why we call it as what? Stock. Just like we say, no, in the fridge, if your mom asks you that in the fridge, how many uh, tomatoes are there or not, go and see. If there are one and two are there, would you say that stock is there? You will not say stock is there. No, one and two does not make say sense of stock. Okay, when many are there, you will say, yes, stock is there. That's why here also shares are not one and two or three or four. Shares are millions. Shares are millions. That's why we call it as stock exchange. And this is a picture of Bombay Stock Exchange. So you can see that uh, the companies uh, plus, 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 plus. It means what? The shares have increased by one rupee or one percent or one cent or one basis point, whatever it is. So you will get plus, minus, plus, minus you will get. Okay. This is called as uh, uh, Bombay Stock Exchange. And here only you will see the shares buying and selling the next important with regard to our international relation is osce osce now we are having the second important current affair that is related to international relation that is osce what is osce organization organization of security and cooperation and cooperation in europe Okay, very important organization, international organization, a new one in many of the international organizations. That's why you should be knowing it. It was founded in the year 1975. And headquarters are there in the capital city of uh, Finland, that is Helensky. That is Helensky. Okay, Finland capital, Helensky. Organization for security and cooperation in Europe. In Europe. Okay, let us see this. Fine. What they do? They will make sure that security, security in the European countries, okay, security related to politics, political stability should be there. There should not be absorption. There should not be dethroning of the government should not be there. There should not be political motivated, okay, coup should not be there, right? Military should be under control, etc. Political, military, economy and environment also. And it also talks about human aspects. Okay, that's, that's why this OSCE, OSCE is the uh, pronunciation of OSE. OSCE addresses a wide range of security related concerns. Wide range of security related concerns, not only in economy, environment, uh, uh, military, but also in arms control. But also in arms control. Fine. Fine, I have told you that in human rights, human rights is also a part 
ओके माइनॉरिटीज रिलेटेड एक्ट पे डेमोक्रेटाइजेशन इफ एनी गवर्नमेंट इज रनिंग वेरी अथॉरिटेटिवली इन ए ऑटोक्रेटिक वे देन इट विल दे विल ट्राई टू मेक दैट गवर्नमेंट डेमोक्रेटाइज मीन्स वी रन बाय द पीपल रन बाय द विल ऑफ द पीपल ओके दे विल मेक पॉलिसी स्ट्रेटजीज दे विल मेक वॉट एव लॉट ऑफ रिफॉर्म्स इन ऑर टू काउंटर वॉट टेररिज्म दे टॉक अबाउट दम सेल्फ एंड दे विल मेक श्योर दैट टेररिज्म शुड नॉट बी स्प्रेडेड ओके एंड एनवायरमेंटल एक्टिविटीज टोटल कंट्रीज हियर आर 57 कंट्रीज आर देयर ऑल द कंट्रीज एंजॉय इक्वल स्टेटस एंड डिसीजंस एंड डिसीजंस आर टेकन बाय डिसीजंस आर टेकन बाय कंसेंसस डिसीजंस आर टेकन बाय कंसेंसस नथिंग बट कंसेंसस एंड नथिंग बट मेजॉरिटी पीपल शुड से यस मेजॉरिटी ऑफ द मेंबर्स शुड से यस दैट इज कॉल्ड एज कंसेंसस ओके इट इज कॉल्ड एज असिमिलेशन आल्सो okay giving voice to each and every member is again a very democratic way they talk about democratic if they don't go with consensus that is not right okay that's why talk they are taking taken by consensus okay and obviously very very important point here very very important point here that whatever the decisions they take they are not legally binding not legally binding very 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 important point here not legally binding please make sure that you are aware of it okay then we are also having that 57 countries are there you can see the 57 countries in the list okay and one more important observation you can make here india is not a member of this because india is not a european country it generally include oske includes europe okay central asia and north america europe central asia and north america remember this point and uh, so you are having here you don't have china also you don't have china also basically and we just have to find out whether we are having the russia or not because russian federation is there okay russia is a part of it central asia no that's why it is there okay united states or any other european country uh, united states north america uk is north american country okay turkey is central asian country right and all of this okay you can understand it but india is not a uh, member of this china is not a member of this pakistan is also not a member of this oske because they don't come under europe central asia north north america okay this uh, india china pakistan bangladesh south asia we call them as we call them as south asia asia it is in the south okay india and uae to sign a trade pact to sign a trade pact is nothing but there are some items where uh, which are not there are some items uh, uh, of india which are not actually allowed in uae there are some uh, items in uae which are not allowed in india so some exports and some imports are happening but not uh, not with wide range of uh, sectors not with wide range of products so there are limitations are there from he, this, our side also their side also okay free trade agreement is nothing but opening of more and more products sectors okay between the countries so we can export anything there they can export anything here in that way okay so india is going to sign a uh, trade pact today today that is today only obviously okay so it will be a bilateral free trade bilateral between only two countries so you can see that fta free trade agreement comprehensive economic partnership agreement this will come in the examination with which one of the following country india has signed a sepa comprehensive economic partnership agreement then you have they will give you what uae they will give you qatar they will give you doha they will give you what uh, dubai like that they will give you please remember that okay oh, it has signed with uae only and you know our prime minister anyhow uh, saudi uh, the uae crown prince uae crown prince abdul dhabi sheikh mohammed bin zayed mohammed bin zayed okay bilateral cooperation to exchange views on regional and international relations of interest right so bilateral cooperation and exchange views on their both interest whatever the interest is there okay that interest will be served with the help of this particular uh, trade pact okay so you can see here india uae trade was expected to revert to pre pandemic level this year and it has already touched 60 billions 60 billion trade happened between these two countries and government of india okay when they have made jammu and kashmir a union territory and asked the foreign countries to invest in jammu and kashmir territory uae was a first country uae one was one of the first foreign countries that has displayed their interest in investing in the union territory of jammu and kashmir and uh, from uae also in india lot of investment has been continuously increasing there is a steady increase of uae investment in our country okay so much so that till now 17 billion dollar has been invested 
by the UAE in our country. Okay, so it's steadily increasing, steadily increasing. And more so ever, there is a separate agreement will be there with regard to gems export. Because you know that the Gulf countries are rich in what gold. But they are rich in gold, but they don't make jewelry. Jewelry art is there with India from the time immemorial that we remember. Right. So we can make more designs out of gold, but gold is not there in our country in enough. So we generally import the biscuits okay, from the Gulf countries and we make what necklace bangles etc okay that we generally use right so that's why india has a obsession with gold and uae has the reserves so there will be a perfect sync between these two country for sure so the fta has also supported the free trade agreement whatever they are doing will also support gems and jewelry export promotion council which has announced that this particular deal if this happens good, this particular deal will push jewelry export to the Gulf countries to the level of 10 billion. Jewelry export, I am saying, not the uh, not the product, uh, solid biscuit, not the raw gold. Okay, jewelry export will increase by 10 billion. Okay, fine. So, India considers UAE as a gateway to the entire Middle East. Entire Middle East. Once we are having good relations with UAE, we can also start exporting to other countries. We can also start exporting to other countries. Okay. And UAE has abolished 5% import duty. Okay. UAE has proposed that he will uh, it will abolish 5% import duty. It means our products will be cheaper. And in UAE, people uh, may like to buy our products more when compared to China products, when compared to Russia products. So with that, what happened? Both uh, UAE and India relations go very, very nicely. Right. Next one, we are having the last one of today's uh, current affairs news. That is uh, a water taxi. You can see water taxi, beautiful taxi is there. These, this part is there, no? The above part, it is called as hull. It is called as hull. A hull with a ship with a ship this is a ship is called as uh, <clears throat> is called as uh, catamaran a hull with this ship is called as catamaran remember this point so you can see that people uh, many people will be sitting inside it many people will be sitting inside it and normal speedboat means this hull will not be there normal speedboat means this hull will not be there okay right Fine, you have seen the water taxi. Now let us go add what is there inside it. Okay, fine. India's first water taxi service was inaugurated in Maharashtra. Water taxi inaugurated in what? Maharashtra. Okay, fine. Then uh, the 8.73 crore project, okay, will presently will operate in three routes. In three routes, this taxis has been launched. Okay, the first route is from Belapur to Ferry Wharf. The second route is from Belapur to Elephanta Caves. And the third route is from Belapur to Jawala Nehru Port Trust. So three taxis are there. It means if you want to go from one place to another place, you can directly go from what? That particular sea. Okay, happily you can sit in the water taxi. Happily you can sit in the water taxi. Every speedboat will have a capacity of 10 to 30 passengers. And one catamaran with the passenger capacity of 50. So speedboat will be only without hull, no? Without hull, it only 30 passengers maximum you can take. With catamaran, you can take up to 50 to 60. Up to 50 to 60 you can take. The, and the cost per speedboat will be 820 because very less people can sit in the speedboat. So 820 rupees will be there. Uh, 820 to 1200. And for catamaran, like more people can be accommodated. So the cost will be 290 rupees. Cost will be 290 rupees. Uh, fine. Chalo. This this total project this total project will be uh, has, is is getting assistance from government of India launch project called as Sagar Mala project Sagar Mala project okay and one more important thing is with regard to transportation the first water taxi in Maharashtra only and you should I should also make you to remind that India's first train also ran in Maharashtra only that is Mumbai to Thane. Mumbai to Thane. So basically there is a correlation is there that every time whenever new thing comes with regard to transportation, it will start from what Mumbai. Even water taxis in Maharashtra only, even the first train has been run in Maharashtra only to from Bombay to Thane. Okay, right. So this is all about today's current affairs. I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care.